Hi, everybody. Well, I'm finally feeling better after being sick for like three or four days. I'm still a little sick, but obviously I'm getting better. It does, it helps a lot that the temperature has gone down from being, oh my goddess, we're talking somewhere around. 100 degrees maybe for four days, maybe around there, maybe higher, yeah, it's enough to knock you right out. <coughs> Excuse me, that's what I mean. So, dating. It's the question of the month, isn't it? Really, of the life. Anyone. All the time. <sighs> Turns out it doesn't get any easier from any side. You can be straight, I, gay, the whole LGBT thing, all of it. It's just it's fucking confusing as it is anywhere else. Anyone ever tells you that being bi doubles your chances for dating? It's not true. It's not true. It's a lie. Being, having been formerly bi myself, I can tell you I didn't get any more dates because of that. In fact, that's a, you know, dating a few boy dates is what led to lesbianism today. But anyways. It's confusing. It's entertainingly confusing. If you look at it that way, anyway. You know, the ridiculousness of going on going, Hi, I'm your sexy and you should date me because I'm really sexy and you should like me, please. Yeah, it, it seems to come down to that, doesn't it? Or you meet somebody and you think you like them and, okay, here I go, I'm gonna make my move and, you know, you do something that's a showstopper. I'm the queen of showstopper. If anyone can mess up the potential romance, it's me. In fact, the best way of dating me is to not date me. Is to, is to actively avoid me until by some cosmic coincidence you happen to walk into a room and we're dating. Poof. We've had a year of dating. Magically. Suddenly. Out of the blue. That, as far as I can tell, is how it's going to happen. Some weird thing where it just happens. Somewhere out there is a girl who is not prepared for this. That would be me. I'm looking forward to it though. I don't know who this person is going to be that I'm going to date one day. But I best I get but as far as I can tell, the only thing I can do, the only thing any of us can do when it comes to dating, is prepare ourselves. Looking will not help. At least in my case, none of the singles things, none of that stuff, new, 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 new. Spams. And creepy people. Creepy people. Worst date ever involved a nutty woman like myself, woman like me, who decided to show me her gun collection, which was loaded. Actually, no, I have a better example. Not kidding. She didn't fire the gun. But she actually gave me, handed me, you know, here, have a loaded gun. 
And that's not a good way to date. Not at all. I'm, you know, so we know this is bad. And we know that just, you know, hanging around and wait, you know, in seedy areas won't help. Because I don't, you know, that's not dating, it's prostitution, and we aren't looking for that, are we, girls? Say it with me. No, we aren't. None of us are looking for that. Unless you're in Nevada, or someplace where it's legal, in which case, you know, more power to you girls, join a union. Otherwise, no. And even then, with the union, no street walking. Property values go way down. And plus, it leads to people going up to you on the street and going, Hey, baby, are you dirty? No, I don't. Never. Mm -mm. But back to the subject at hand, dating. It's insane. It's insane. You always like seem to hit on the wrong people, or you don't get the hint. Or someone's talking to you, and you're like, they're giving you a look, and they're playing with the hair, and they're patting your big, beautiful eyes, and you miss it. Because you're, well, a big, stupid, bonehead boy. I've solved that problem. And it turns out I'm, stu I'm a big, stupid, bonehead girl. It does not matter what sex you are, honey. It's tough to date. People are crazy. Very quickly, if you're straight, you're attempting to date someone who's going to be your opposite and very crazy. Being your opposite. You know, and that means that while it's attract, it attracts, you're also going to something that's totally alien to you. If you're gay, well, you are going for something where you have a better idea of the experience. You're working with the uh, home ground advantage, so to speak. And if, well, boys are insane. Drama insane. What's with you? Boys, tell me. You're all crazy. I wasn't that crazy. I wasn't that dramatic. Girls just spread rumors or attack hair or something. But no, boys are crazy. Anyway. Girls have the lesbians have the same advantage that gays do and you know, hometown and all that. And emotions. Everything's emotional. Or a lack of emotions. Or pushing too hard. At least that's what I've experienced. Girls are crazy in a way where they lay in wait. And we sit there. And we're nice. And then, we get you. If you're bi, you're just fucked. You might as well never date. Get a, you know, get a nice, I don't know, a nice doll, meet a sheep, sock, you know, but just, you're in trouble because you have to deal with all of it. Now, I'm going to post this, and suddenly I'm glad I only have like two viewers because chances are my, whoever my one day girlfriend will be, she's going to see this and realize just how insane I am. Maybe that will attract her to me. You know, after all, what, who better to date an insane person than an insane... Oh, wait, no. You don't want to insane people to matter. Well, lady, wherever you are, I can't wait to meet you. Mwah. And I love you all. Bye.